Can you hear the cat? And welcome to Wing It Friday. <laughs> it is Fun Friday with the Ripping the Rack podcast cast of characters. Yes. I am your Triforce Tri host, Tim. I have with me my trusty sidekick, Luna, uh, our podcast producing pussy. Uh, cat. cat. Oh, cat. Pussy cat. Yeah, right. well, that's both are right. You know. Yep. Yeah, yep. <laughs> yep. And uh, let's see. We, we'll start with the guy on top here. Uh, at least he's on top for me. That's Mr. Sure. Brian, how are you, buddy? Hey, what's going on, everyone? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. And our third leg, third wheel, third guy. The whatever rock in the calling. Mario Brothers shirt. Da, 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 da. My son's going to be pissed. I stole that out of his drawer early. I love this T-shirt. <laughs> Nice. What's so, going on, fellas? So you, G-G-I-F, huh? I should probably say you're Mackie. Because I didn't pins. say that. I just said you were you are third leg. That's okay. Either one is, like, cool. You know what I mean? Like, hey, Mr. Third Leg, how you doing? And Stimpy says hi. <laughs> well, Ren. <laughs> so just out of curiosity, can you hear this cat? No. No. Okay. No. no. All right. No. She's quite loud tonight for some reason. <laughs> She's she loves happy. you. She does. She's a good, she's a good little kitty. So what's happening, the, guys? Yeah, how was the week? How was your week, Tim? My week? Uh, this has been the longest month ever this week. <laughs> yep. It 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 has. Um, <laughs> I, I'll go with that. Help. I, it's been windy and cold all and, week. And it was supposed to be nice out, and it's not. And I'm upset and mad. It's it's just. It's, and it's going to pour all day tomorrow. As or, we record, yeah, it is already yeah. pouring buckets here oh, is it? where I oh, live. Great. Yeah, in plastic. Okay. Oh, it is Ray. already pouring buckets. So you guys got about three hours until all hell breaks loose up there. Yeah, and I've got, unfortunately, um, I've got four site visits in the morning. It's going to be hour, wet. Two you, hours you away. Wet. You're going to be moist. Down east <laughs> on the it. fucking water. So the wind's going to be going 40, oh my too. Oh, God. I can't wait. I can't wait hey, until the morning. I know, I know it's not the bowling time, but making me the, making rain stories makes me think about this. You guys remember the Mixed Worlds the year it was in Lita and the absolute driving thunderstorm yes. it was Sunday Jeez. when yes. everyone had to leave and it was just pouring sheets? Yep. I was going 25 miles an hour on the highway. God. I, was, uh, I was in the backseat of Evan's vehicle as he was driving me from... Nashua up to Meredith, New Hampshire to drop me off at a conference where Angie already had checked into the hotel, which was right on Lake Winnipesaukee. Was that the scariest ride of your life? Uh, the scariest ride of my life was the night before when <laughs> we went in Evan's vehicle, literally went on two wheels around a corner. Nice. And I'm in the back seat uh, with MD and Angie. And chips in the front seat. And I I just, I said, well, it's if it's my time, it's my time. There's nothing I can do from the back seat. So. And we will all go down, down together. together. <laughs> yeah. MD, MD must have just sat there and been like. He was laughing. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, at this point, he's like, well, it's time. Like. He was like the Russian guy from Armageddon. Remember they were on the, yeah. on the, yeah. the shuttle? And everybody's like, oh, my God, we're going to die. And he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Kicks yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Good times, though. Good times. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's been a week. Yeah. It, hopefully the weekend is going to be better and nicer weather. Like, I'm just ready to sit outside on my patio and, like, Colin can play on the swing set and I can have a beverage and just sit there instead of being stuck in the house. That springtime weather, man, it is around the corner and it's so necessary after the winter that it's been and just everything of the whole last last 18 months, for God's sake, like just everything in general is just I just want to go sit outside in a nice cup. I want it to be like 11, 11 o'clock, 1130, whatever, midnight. And it's still 60, 70 degrees outside. I want to have a cold mm -hmm. beer in one hand. And I just want to sit there and just veg and yep. do absolutely nothing yep. without being frozen to the core anymore. Yep. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the cool part is, and the, well, I shouldn't say the cool part. The worst part is, you know, the last couple of weeks, it's been, at least for, for Rockland, Decent. it's been like 
warm. It's been like 55, almost 60 degrees, and you go inland and it's like 65. You get down your way and it was 70 degrees. Mm-hmm. We and, had some gorgeous days the last couple of weeks, yeah. And it's March. And uh-huh. I'm just like, oh, my God. I, I just, And I'm, then, what was it, Monday, Tim? It blew 60 miles oh, an hour yeah. all oh, day my. here. God, yeah. everything was blowing around in the streets. There were power outages all over. There was garbage cans everywhere in every single street going down the way. It, it's like it, they say in New England that you don't just go from like winter to spring to summer. No, no, no. There, there's winter. Then there's first false spring. Yeah. Yeah, like a week of nice. Yep. And then it goes back to being second winter where winter. it's two weeks of 25 degrees and three snowstorms. Then you get the second false spring where it's like 45, 50 degrees. A lot of the snow melts. And everybody's like, cool, here it comes. And then, bang, there's that third false winter, <laughs> the third winter. Yeah. That, and I think that's what we're coming into this last week. Of it's just going to be like cold and rainy, just 35, 40, just caca for like another kind of like a week. But we're not that far, boys. We're so not I, that far. I'm kind of a I'm kind of a weather geek. Like when I was in school, I wanted to be I wanted to be a meteorologist. Oh, that would have so, been a good ring to it, meteorologist Tim Matero. I know. That's I, got I, a good I ring did. to it. And it, and it started like all the way back in sixth grade. So the uh, the big weatherman for Maine was always Joe Cupo, NBC Channel Six, mm-hmm. WCSH. He was the big weather guy. He was the guy standing out in hurricanes and stuff. Oh, yeah. Can't sorry. Oh, it's not that bad yet. And And then he gets all excited with thunder and snow. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Um, So being a weather geek, I I just, I always watch the weather and everything else. And the best part is, is the long range forecast and the Euro model shows uh, basically a warmer than average spring for Maine, which is great. I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. Give me warmer than average I'm a happy camper. Right. Makes makes me happy. So. Not I want, really. I want warm. I just want warm again. I miss grass. I miss leaves and shit on the trees. Like, not raking leaves when they fall down. No, no, no. Up there in the trees where they're green and stuff. It's just been a long... I mean, we're New Englanders. We've dealt with this our whole entire lives. Yes. We have. But spring mm-hmm. is just the best. When it goes away, finally, and the earth is just like, hey, I'm back. Go enjoy yourselves yeah. for a while. Yeah. I just yeah. need that. I'm just, you know, and it's and it's being a born and raised Maine guy. I used to ski. I used to snowmobile. I used to ice fish. I used to do all that shit. I don't do any of that Johnny. anymore. Not not in the least. I, I I just, I'll be 50 years old this year. Give me three seasons. I'll take spring, summer, fall, right into spring. <laughs> I would be. You want North Carolina weather? No, because it still snows in North Carolina. So South <laughs> Carolina without nope, all still the crazy still, still uh, snows in South Carolina. I would take honestly. I would don't take, say Florida because you couldn't pay me to live in that state right now. That is like so. You, you know, no, I you know how in Escape that, from New York and Escape from LA, the like the Snake Plissken movies. That's what Florida's turning into, like so, that. Like that's going to be blown off and be an island soon. I will tell you as, as someone, as I talked to someone today that just got back from two weeks in Florida, not me, the person I spoke to, um, they said, do not believe what you see on the TV. Florida, for the most part, 95% of them are all wearing masks. They're all, you know, socially distanced. He said, what you're seeing is the, is the, a couple of beaches here and there that are just crazy. He said, just don't believe what you're watching on TV. He well, goes, I just spent good to know then. He was like, I just spent two weeks in Florida. I went from Miami to Orlando to St. Pete. So they traveled the state. So um Well, like I, anything else, depending on the the news and which channel you're watching, yes. you're gonna get a certain yep. story, you're gonna get a certain inflection on the story. So you might as well just kind of take it all with a grain of salt until you're actually there. Yeah. For yourself. And it sounds like people are doing the right thing. Look, nobody likes it, but yo, let's just keep doing it for a while until it goes away. Yep. And then we're kind of mm-hmm. phasing ourselves back into the regular shit like it I, used to be. I let's am go with that. fine yep. with the way things are going right now. Yep. Um, I, let me preface that. I am perfectly fine with people are getting vac- vaccinated, but yet they're still wearing their masks. They're still socially distancing. They're still following these protocols. Which I think still needs to be done for another mm-hmm. couple, three, four, five. I'm not a doctor, 
I never claimed to be a doctor. I played doctor. But I've never. I, I remember those days when we were young. Those were. I, I, uh, I'm married to a doctor. You are, you are. So right. I have none of those qualities. You guys out doctor me on that regard. <laughs> well, I'm not married to a doctor. I just, I just played one. Played doctor. No, no. We, we get mail that says to doctor and Mister. Really? And, and yeah, and Kelly chuckles and shows it to me, and then I, I chuckle. chuckle too. That's all right. Yeah. It's funny. Shit. I like it. Yeah. Like, I cool. flex that. If my wife hey, was a doctor, I'd be like, hey, that's, I'm yeah, that's, to a doctor. That's eight <laughs> years. She worked her butt off eight years, got her doctorate, did a, did a residency at Togus up here at the VA, and worked her butt off. All her loans are paid off, and she's a very successful hospital pharmacist up here. And I'm proud as shit of her. Should be. Absolutely should be. Yeah, absolutely. I- I think this winter is going to be a big tell. Not so much because even last year during the height of the panic and everything else that we were going through at that time, as we got into the summer, naturally the numbers crashed because many of these viruses in this family are more cold based that spread easier. And once the summertime hits and it gets like 70, 80, 90, we saw those numbers drop quite a bit last year in the summertime. So especially with the vaccinations and so many more people have been careful for so long, we get through the summer. I think the fall and the winter of this year going into 2022 are going to be a big deal as to how we deal with the masks going forward. Mm -hmm. So as long as we're smart for the next, you know, let's not be, you know, just like, oh, it's gone. No, no, let's just be chill for a while and just take it as it comes. But I think the winter is going to be a big deal. Look, I'm not a I'm not a masker. I don't like to wear my mask. I don't like it. Nope. But I wear it, yep. and I do it out of respect for you guys or whoever I'm with. Mm-hmm. You know, yes, some of it's for my own safety, but it goes both ways. Yes. That's all. I don't like to wear it. Like I said, I don't, I don't know anyone that likes to wear a mask. Um, nope. But let's all just be adults for a little while longer yep. and just kind of do it. I don't care what side of the aisle. I don't. Oh, there's no, so much politics care. with it. Put all that shit aside. And everybody's like, I want this to be over. Okay, this is kind of how we make it over. Yeah. Stop, stop listening to what the TV tells you and just use the common sense in your own brain that says, yo, just put it on for a while until this just kind of yep. goes away. Let's just yep. do this. Let's yep. just do this. It's like in the bowling alley. I don't mind wearing it in the bowling alley. I don't like it. I don't wear it while bowling. But that's, that's where I draw the line. Well, I, I am not a fan of wearing it while I'm actually nope. throwing ball. No, uh, no, but I will definitely. I do. You do? Well, yeah. he wears yeah. two I masks. Will. You double mask, don't you? I wear like a, like a paper mask and then I wear a cloth one over it or I, I wear a yeah. gator now over it. Yeah, I can't. I don't like, I, I can't. Number one, I wear glasses when I bowl. I, I work I in a boat shop. The, I can't see so the fucking pins. I used to wear a, like a, like a gaseous grade full face respirator eight and a half nine hours a day working with fiberglass i got used to trying to breathe through shit so well that that could make it definitely easier these masks must seem like nothing to you at that yeah, point in time it's, it's if you got those, you got yeah. like the world war ii gas mask on while you're working <laughs> these little paper things must seem like like absolutely nothing yeah so. but that stuff's bad that's like organic peroxide and stuff they're mixing no that's nasty and- shit yeah. That's nasty shit. The smell um, sticks with you. It's weird. You can always tell, like, that's a boat shop. Yep. <laughs> so a couple of a couple of things. Um, we had we did have a couple of uh, questions or whatever that we kind of missed last week because of the way we 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 did some mm-hmm. rearranging of taping dates and whatnot. Um, so. I want to bring it back for a sec to some adult cartoons. Um, Excellent. Not not hentai, not uh, not on yeah. uh, Pornhub, but yeah, yeah. Real quick though, I saw a map, and it I thought was... you were going to say real <laughs> quick. Let's talk about OnlyFans. No, no, no. <laughs> Tim, we'll stop. get to that. No, I saw a map, and it showed like when the lockdown started last year, or like right <laughs> around this time, end of March, April. It showed what the most searched terms were in every country and it was they took the top two and it was it was coronavirus vaccines and hentai were the two <laughs> and it was like you could check all over the globe and i'll tell you the people in india do not care about the vaccine they are all about the hentai for some reason <laughs> but no well, it's a weird it was a funny map 
Can a billion Indians be wrong? No. That seems like an awfully big sample size, and yeah, if there's that many people searching for it, there might be something to it. I don't know. It might, it might I, will, I, I will say I, I do not trust the validity of this map because it had America as the most thing was the vaccine. And I know there's way more dirty people in America that would have searched oh, it. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, way more. Okay. Um, okay. So, I mean, Christ, Scott, they made Pornhub free. They called the <laughs> Stay at Home Hub for like yeah. three months. Remember that last year? I did. Uh, not that I looked because I would never do that. That would be so bad to look. Oh, I did. There was some good shit on there at that time. <laughs> there were people uploading shit. There was brand new content on there. My God, it was fantastic. <laughs> I was showing my wife. I was like, dude, look at this new guy. Just uploaded these like five new videos. He's busy. Look, he's, and these are in three different places. Like, we can make money. We should thing. upload something. Like, no, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. We're not doing that. Shit. All right, fine. Whatever. Uh, whatever. Um, <laughs> Scotty, I'm got Hey, let's segue into Scotty Estabrooks. Hi, Scotty. Hey, hey Scotty. Scott. Uh, Scotty would like to know what we think about the cartoon called "F Is for Family" on Netflix. He says it's one of the best adult cartoons ever. He finds it so relatable, real, relatable to real life. If you haven't watched it, you have to. Amazing. Bill Burr is the voice of the main character. Um, and then he adds Big Mouth, Paradise PD, and Brickleberry are pretty good as well. Um, I forgot I forgot about Big Mouth and I forgot about Brickleberry being being on there. And I've watched them both. And they're, both a, they're both a riot. Brickleberry uh, is uh, Daniel Tosh's cartoon. Yes. That's interesting. Tosh.0. Yeah. 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 It's, and Bill Burr is basically animated Al Bundy, except like he's one of those dads. It's like, get away, Aaron kids. Yeah, I love them, but they're stupid. Like just that I kind love of dad. Bill Burr, like, oh, Bill Burr is hilarious. Yep. Oh my god. Bill so Burr I, is is like our generation's Lewis Black. I feel like he's a younger Lewis. You Black. You know that is a really good comparison. I really think without all the like the gyrating and the Lewis yeah. Blacky finger things. They're very, they rant very, very similarly. Very, very similarly. I, I enjoy, I do enjoy Bill Burr. I, I, I just, well, I like comedians in general. I, I just, that's just my job. I just love comedians. If you can make me laugh, which let's face it is most anything that's going to make me laugh as Brian knows. Diarrhea. No, that's not going to make me laugh, even though that is funny. Yeah. Um, that's my go-to to make people laugh. It's my go-to word. Walk up, Diarrhea. Diarrhea. Yeah. Diarrhea. Yeah. Cha-cha-cha. It's just, there's just something funny about it. It's like my story of driving through the big dig. I mean, Brian's heard what it. What the I, hell could have been funny about driving? I used to so drive a tow truck you real quick. up let me, the central line. Well, here, here, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the rest of the episode. So... I'm going to make this quick because I have said this story on this episode, on this episode, on this podcast before. Um, I played in a golf tournament at Foxborough Country Club a couple of years ago on a Monday, day after Mother's Day. Play in it every year. Used to be at Rentham Country Club, moved to Foxborough, um, sometimes at Franklin. And driving home, I said, okay, well, I got three choices basically right now. I can go 495, I can go 95, or I can go 93 up through Boston, which Never. technically, which technically is the quickest way from Foxborough area. Yes, it is. Well, yeah, by MapQuest and, and Google Map and all that I stuff. Have, and, look, yeah. I, Not in real life. Absolutely. I've driven this for 30 years. Yeah. I know my way around. For, I, I know it all. I right. should say I know it all. But I've done it enough that I know. So I was like, you know what? I'm getting tired of 495. I hate 95 128. That's just, it's the stupidest road ever. Right. It just, it's dumb. Like, you made a three lane road, sometimes down to two lanes, in one of the busiest places in the nation. With and, giant cron concrete pillars on either side. Instead Thanks. of being, you know what? Let's make let's make four lanes and four lanes and call it good. And there's so many highways that just dump Dumping? into it. Oh, it's, it's and they stupid. just add so much. Like Route Three coming onto 120, yep. you're adding two lanes of already jammed up traffic to three lanes of completely already bumper to bumper jammed up traffic. Good luck, folks. 
it's stupid. enjoy. It is. It, it's avoid dumb. it at all costs. It's <laughs> dumb. Enjoy listening to ripping the rack while you're stuck in traffic, everyone. So, <laughs> Ooh, nice. So nice. I made the decision. I'm like, you know what? I know it's Monday afternoon. I know it's going to be busy. I'm going to go up 93, and I'm going to go underneath Boston. I'm going to come up, and I'm going to take Tobin Bridge over and take Route 1 out, and I'll cut off. I, I'm tired of 495 and whatnot. So I know it's going to be slow going once you get up into, you know, you, you turn from 95 on to 93, and you go up a ways, and before you get into South Boston, JFK, that whole area of what is it the jfk library and whatnot it's like roxbury dorchester yeah. line down that side yeah yeah look i know it's going to be slow going through there i just got to get through that and then it always picks up when you get in on the other side of boston and you get over towards take the left to get on to tobin bridge i know that well i start to feel the old rumbly in the tummy oh yeah and i'm like damn Okay, look, I know, okay. That's a terrible thing. So I come around the corner, and it is just dead stop. I mean, not even slow going. It's dead stopped. And I'm like, well, shit. Yeah. I'm like, okay. I'm <laughs> Maybe all right. literally. I, I'm Very like, close. I'm all right. I get past Roxbury. Starts moving a little bit. I'm like, okay, if I can just bust through the tunnel come up and around, I know I can get across the bridge and the S turn there and I could just take the Revere exit because there's a McDonald's right there. Yep. Because yep. there's nothing before that. Literally nothing no, before that. The bridge. You can get off anywhere in Boston, but there was literally nowhere to go. Good no. luck finding a gas station. Good yep. luck finding a McDonald's that's not like on this tiny corner where there's no parking. Good yep. luck with that. So I'm like, all right. We're moving. Oh, fuck. We're stopped again. I'm not even in the tunnel. I can see the tunnel. I'm looking down into the tunnel. I see the city. It's like, this is great. Oh, that one hurt. Oh, that cramp hurt. <laughs> yeah, I'm poopy's like, starting oh, to come down the tunnel, too. God, yeah. that hurt. <laughs> so now I'm doing city. one of these things where you're clenching your ass cheek and you and get a little bit of heat of sweat chair. and you sit up in the chair. So, so. I do. So I do the next best thing. I am buttoning my pants. I'm like, I got to give it some more room. That's what I got to do. I got to give it some more room. So I am buttoning the pants. I'm sitting up in the chair and I'm like, okay, just, you know, your, your feet are doing this. Your, your feet are just like this. Just going, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we're starting to go. Oh, starting. My oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, don't shit your pants, Tim. Jesus, not here. Don't lose. You so, cannot lose this battle. So I'm like, you cannot. So, so I'm squeezing, I'm squeezing. And then I'm like, okay, I'm good. I'm good. It's gone back up. We're, we're good. We're good for a second. Okay. I get up. We come through the tunnel. I come up the bridge. Here's the left on the route one. I take the left. I come around the corner and I'm like, smooth it. Why the fucking stop traffic? Dead stop traffic. Oh, geez. I am. I haven't even hit the bridge yet. Into that I next little now, tunnel that comes down that after the ramp. Tunnel. Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. my God. So I am now literally to the point where I know. Hello, guys. <laughs> Hi. Come back up here. Long way. And it's and it's just sitting right here, and it's going. Hey, how are you guys? You know, it's Mr. Pooh, you know, from South Park, you know, and uh, Mr. so so I, I literally for for about thirty seconds, I look to my right, and I'm like. I can pull over right there. No. There is room for two vehicles because the exit was closed coming on right there. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, when you come down, it, it merges. Yes. So this was closed. So there was no cars coming. So I literally could have pulled over to the right, got out, opened up both the car doors, leaked my ass out. It just <laughs> ripped it. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I could have oh, because God, I had another so I had another that. pair of clothes. I had another pair of clothes with me that I could have just been like, you know what? These oh, are gone. God. These are staying here. Like, congratulations, whoever the homeless person. I sorry, not making fun of homeless. Congratulations, people. he said. You found my <laughs> shit. So, do you know, do you know what like, an asshole move that is? Which is like, you have nice golf clothes, and this guy thinks, yes, I found some nice clothes, and there's shit all over them. So, I, 
<laughs> so, I believe the homeless guy was fucking, why is this shit all over his clothes? Wait, we're on the highway. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> so, I'm wait like, a minute, I could get 10 bucks for these pants. <laughs> so, the, the traffic picks up. I'm like, okay, I don't have to stop. I just got to get over the bridge and around the S turn in the exits right there. Yeah. So, I am literally doing the one thing that I pisses me off about people on that Tobin Bridge, and that's going in, out, in. I'm just, I'm weaving through traffic. Like, I, I'm like, if it, if today's the day I go off the bridge, today's the day I go off the bridge, but I'm going to go off. I'm not shitting my pants. You would have if you went off the bridge. Oh, I would have, yes. And just so, to let people know who may not be familiar with the Tobin Bridge, the Tobin Bridge is a bridge that, like, it's too late. Well, it's three. It's supposed to be three, but there's always one closed for construction. Yep. But either way, that some bitch is about 750,000 feet above the water. You go off the side of that bridge, out of <laughs> the La Vista. <laughs> you, 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 will have, you would have time if you were, you know, on the other end of the bridge to say, oh, my God, look, they're oh, still falling. Had- at least Bad. you would have known you were. If you went off the bridge, you would have had more than enough time to say, "Shit, I'm gonna die. I might as well take a shit now." Yeah, and might you could as well. have at least duked it without dying and worried about, "Oh my god, my ass is so yeah. full." So, so I get over the bridge. Oh god! I get around the S turn and I see the exit. I'm like, I can't believe you made it that far. So, oh no, I hurt at this point. I mean, I literally <laughs> have sweat. I'm getting the chills. Yes, it's a thing. Okay. Um, yes. The stomach. I'm. I'm in the car driving. I'm doing seventy miles an hour in a fifty zone. No, getting off that 40, and, yeah, getting on. I'm doing. I'm doing about seventy right now, going in and out. I'm literally. I, I've got my ass off my seat because yeah. I, I am clenching so hard. And I come up to the exit and I whip it off to the exit, and there is a car. At the end, because it's a yield and goes to a roundabout. Yeah. So this car is stopped. I'm like, nope. I went around him (laughs) at 50 miles an hour. Cut off traffic. I hear horns firing. (laughs) I literally went around him. Oh, gosh. I hit. I, I don't think I went up on two wheels, but it felt like I went up on two wheels coming around him. I whipped it to the right <laughs> off the exit. You were pushing me okay. shut. I see the McDonald's sign up ahead. I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know if I can make it. Okay, hold it. Jesus. Red light. <laughs> I I'm like, moved. you gotta be you gotta be kidding me. This is the universe the throwing. Yeah. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So, oh my God. this is now like the third time it's gone back up and been like, okay, I can breathe. Oh my god, I can't and breathe. It, it just comes you know, right back. And it just comes right back. So I get the green light, take the left, I whip it in. I I get out. I've got my pants unbuckled already. Okay. This is three o'clock in the afternoon on a Monday in May. It is in prime Revere. old people time okay. to go get McDonald's. There are two octogenarians at least one of them with a walker oh step and i'm just like oh no 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 i i just i literally said excuse me i need to get in and i busted through the middle of them <laughs> grabbed the door opened the door i said i i apologize the door shuts on him i did i couldn't even hold it for him at, at that point, bro, like you got to do what you got to do. I went straight into the bathroom, shut the door. I hovered, like literally. I think I was hovering, like my feet were off the ground, my ass was off the seat. So it was dumb and dumber, right? It was dumb and dumber oh times. My God. I don't know how many. Fifteen minutes, I was in the bathroom. That is an insane amount of pool. I think, oh my goodness! I don't know what happened. I'm, I blacked out. I don't know. You lifted. I blacked out. I don't know. You woke up like Trevor from Grand Theft Auto Five. Yes. Yes. It was. My face hurts. It was. <laughs> so I, I get done, and it felt like you I lost at least thirty-eight the, pounds. Like, please tell me you at least got a happy meal or I something could, on the way. No, out. no, no. There was no eating. I'm like. 
I'm not. I don't know. See, I had something at the golf course because they had a like a buffet for the tournament. I've and seen I don't, that golf course. They better had a nice buffet. Oh no, it was good. I mean, it was your standard, you know, burgers, chicken, whatever. But I don't know if what I had, if I was already sick, something. But oh my did, god! I, did I, it like it was, launch you into the air? Like, like, did you actually like? Was it a rocket? I'm pretty sure that I was hovering off, and that's how much it the force was coming. Have you down. seen the South Park? Getting back, tying this all back into adult cartoons. Have you seen the one where they where Bono holds the record for the world, or he is the world's biggest poo, or something like that? Like Randy takes the world's biggest dump, and they're actually like, "No, it's bigger." And it actually turns out it is Bono. I remember that episode. And they measure it in Keurigs. <laughs> Katie Kerrick's. Yep. I remember that episode. Randy was doing everything he could. He held his poo for, I don't even remember how long, until the Guinness guy showed up, and then he had to take a dump in front of the Guinness guy. He, like, spun up like a Dairy Queen (laughs) Sunday. So, I got got back to the car. By the way, um, I left my boxers in the bathroom. Sometimes you have to. Didn't yeah. quite make it. I, well, it wasn't that I didn't quite make it. I was just like, I don't even want to take the chance <laughs> that I put those back on. Like, I just, I didn't want to take the chance of, of driving the rest of the way home, which oh, was another Jimmy. three hours home. No, it's just safe. Just commando ride home. Never hurt yeah. anybody. Jeez, yeah. Um, the things we talk about on Friday. I, oh, nobody is going to watch this dude, podcast. I left, I left that I pulled out of that McDonald's. I was still laughing by the time I got on to 95. <laughs> and okay. I'm not kidding, Mark. That's... I think I might have been the first person he called. <laughs> oh, I called him from the road. Uh, yeah. I, had to tell, I had to tell someone. See, that's a brother right there. That's yeah. a brother. When you know you got a dude you can call when you just took Revere's biggest duke in history. <laughs> yes. Yes. And we used to, I, growing up, I grew up in and... Summerhall. It's only a couple cities away from yep. there. And uh, we used to chill in Revere quite a bit. I've never heard anybody talk about the biggest dupe that has ever been taken in Revere. So I'm pretty willing to bet that you have the world record for the biggest dupe Revere has ever seen. Oh, my seen. God. It was... Uh, Congratulations, I, I'm, so glad, I'm so glad that this episode went so far to the left that it's come around to the right and we are now back to... It literally fell off the Tobin. Yeah, it, 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 it did. It did. Um, so, we Scotty, another... thank you. For, I don't even know how we got on that well, no, subject. We, we, had, we had another. Um, Angela Paquette had mentioned Archer, too, as one of the adult cartoons. I love Archer. But I I love um, the, the the character, like Bob's Burgers, Archer. He does the voice of the convenience store guy in Family Guy. Uh, H. John Benjamin. Yeah, that guy. Like he's just funny. Okay. Like I as Archer. Archer's hilarious. It's so quotable. So quotable. Perfect segue. Next Friday, let's talk best quotable movies. Oh, we're good going God. streaking in the quad. We Come on, and it can be <laughs> bring your green hat. It can be anything. Any any. It doesn't have to be just you know. Will Ferrell in old school or Step Brothers or whatever. Anything that you can think of. Let's talk best quotable movies. This is Tombstone. right up my alley. Absolutely. No bowl and pun intended. The Austin Powers movies are part of my vocabulary on a yes. daily basis. Austin Powers movies are they, baby? All three of the Back to the Futures. I will find a way to quote something from those six movies. Daily. So, Brian, you know, and this, th- we got to do this sometime too, because this just reminded me there have been times where Brian and I, um, on league night, we can only speak in song titles or song lyrics. Wasn't that an old Who's Line skit? It might have been. I, I think yeah. it was. I love that kind of it, shit. That's it might have been, but I, oh, it's I questions. Think... That's the Who's Line one. You're only oh, speaking questions. Oh, questions. Questions yeah. only. That's yeah, but we went for like an hour. Good about solid an, hour. About an hour, and it was just it was either song titles or lyrics. And, and I don't know if we repeated one. I I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, 
So uh, mark it down on your calendars. Those of you that are listening still, thank you for sticking with <laughs> us after that. We appreciate it. Um, next week, next Friday, we are going to talk quotable movies. Send us your favorite movies to quote. Could be one and, quote. And, could be a bunch. And for the for the younger guys listening, quotable movies are what we used to do before memes. Yes, you used yes. to just have Anchorman until a new Anchorman came out, and you then you quoted that and hoped it was as funny. We didn't have like we didn't go on Facebook and find new funny memes to share with each other all the time. No, we didn't I have like all the lamp. pictures that came. <laughs> the, the, there were no pictures that came out with the words that we said. They were just movie quotes of movies that everybody had seen. And you could quote the movie and everybody understood why it was funny for the given situation. And that kind of evolved mm-hmm. into what the kids today call memes. Um, I get memes daily. Like my son's on like meme discords mm-hmm. and oh. he sends me all these like it, some of them are like good, you know, but it's it's a kid's like discord that he's in. Mm-hmm. Every once in a while, I'll see a decent adult one. My sister runs a funny meme page on Facebook and I'll send him one that's like just raunchy enough because he's like 12. <laughs> It'd yeah. be like a booby meme or something. And I'm like, yeah. see what he does with this one. <laughs> you yeah. Know? Um, Brian, Brian and I will send memes back and forth. And, and Maki, we've, we've sent a couple, obviously. We, we have a, you know, a, a rip in the rack group page, not page, chat, so we can talk about stuff. And occasionally I will send stuff. But, you know, the, I, I fall back on, like, um, the old standbys of, you know, I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. <laughs> you eat pieces of shit for breakfast? Chris no. Adams did have a beer. No. No. It's so uh, we'll 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 go with that for next week. I think that's a I think that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Um uh Maki, have you seen Big Mouth? I have not. No. Okay. I have not. It is funny. I, I don't say, Brian, have a you want to talk to about it for a hell second? of a lot of TV, but I would love to hear about um, it. Um so John Mulaney is one of the writers and Nick Kroll is the other guy. Nick Kroll, I think was in the league. Um, and Mulaney used to write for SNL. He just stand up and it is a raunchy adult comedy about two guys going through puberty. And one of them, the main character has a puberty monster that comes and tells him to do all kinds of, um, you know, um, things with you want to do when you hit puberty. And yep. he's just telling her, like, I just, I just look at him. Go ahead, look at the boobs. Just do it. Like, he's just this big, like, you know the big orange monster from Looney Tunes, like Gossamer? I think it was called the big hairy monster with the I sneakers. I think that was his name, yes. It's kind of like that, but how would you describe this monster, Tim? Because it looks like something. It, <laughs> look, um, Remember Monsters Under My Bed? Or little monsters, you know, all it I looks can, like a Jim Henson puppet. It, it does, yeah, like a Jim Henson slash, um, kind of a mix between a Monsters Inc. and a Jim Henson Muppet character. And the female lead character has one too, and it's a female one, and she's voiced by Maya Rudolph. Oh, she's funny. I like Maya. Yeah, but it's just, it's very funny, very adult. Oh, I yes. I will say that. Yes, this is not... Uh... It's not, it's it's way even past Family Guy in South Park. Okay, so, quickly, uh, let's see if that will come up there. There's your puberty monster. Right there. Yeah. I do get kind of like a Muppet vibe off of the thing. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep, it's a it's a Muppet slash Monster Zane. Fraggle Rock. Fraggle Rock. Oh, I remember Fraggle Rock. I do too. I do remember Fraggle Rock. I have episodes of Fraggle Rock on my computer. I used to look that Such was that show. was the big thing on HBO back in the day. The Doozers. I remember watching the Doozers when I was little. Down at Fraggle Rock. I'm sorry. Um right. Yep, Fraggle Rock. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? So, yes, Marky, it, it, when you get a chance, Big Mouth. Um, I have not seen Paradise PD that Scotty mentioned. I believe that is a Matt Groening, so Simpsons animation okay. style. There's Enchanted 2, which is Matt Groening, and that's on Netflix, and that's really good. That's funny. Okay. That's more of a, like, um, episodic 
cartoon rather than just like standalone episodes. It's set back in medieval times. It's funny. Okay. So it definitely got some things to check out. Mm -hmm. Um, Real quickly, we're going to, we'll, we'll take the next kind of five minutes before we end here. Uh, There are a couple of things I did want to touch on. Um, Boobies. Um, Love them. Love them. Big, you know what? Every time. They make me smile. I try to, boobies are my friends. Yeah. Tim has a book. I do. I have a, where's my. You have a booby book? I do have a booby book. I got in trouble for having booby books when I was like 14. No, my... my mom found them and I got in no, trouble. No, his, his wife bought him this booby no, book. No, Angie, Angie bought me. Uh, oh, here it is. Bear and with me your wife second. bought you a booby? She is a beautiful woman. Ladies and gentlemen, applause for Angie Matero for buying her <laughs> husband a booby book. So I give you the boob book. <laughs> and it has facts of boobies. It's got different different types of boobies. Different areolas and different shapes and different. sizes. And it's got the droop. Uh, the pancake, if you will. If you will. <laughs> the shelves. The shelves. Uh, and then it goes into boob facts. You do realize now we can't put this on YouTube. Yes, you can. You it's cartoon. Certain, yes, you it's can. It's cartoon. You uh, most certainly can. Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, just so you know, uh, left breasts tend to be larger in size than right ones. I did not know that. Hey, you know, I, I am proud of you, Tim, for educating yourself on the anatomy. That, Breast, that's what this all is. This is not enjoyment. This is an educational yes. segment of the show. Yes. So... Breast move in a figure eight during exercise. I did not know that. Oh, this, that's probably physics and science involved in that. I think it is. And then um, we are the only mammals to have permanently enlarged breasts. That is very true. Not augmented breasts, but just permanently enlarged so yeah well, I, I, I don't I, see many I, other I, I mammals bought, walking around with boob jobs that is true she bought me the boob book um no i uh touch on a couple of two two quick things um obviously uh the ncaa um they are down to their final four uh for men's basketball and women's basketball <laughs> in that um, shit show of a tournament that was the men's bracket this year Oh, Gonzaga is going to run away with it, which I had them picked anyway. They're they're by far the best team in the nation this year. Mm-hmm. Um, and the shit show that the NCAA did to the women. Oh yeah, that's uncalled for. Um, you don't give one group of people a world class weight room, and you then you give the other ones a bunch of yoga mats and a rack of weights and say yeah. have fun. What happened? Oh, you didn't hear about this one? I'm not very... One of, yeah. one of the no. girls at the NCAA Women's Tournament put the NCAA on blast with the TikTok showing them the difference between the men's weight room and the female weight room. So the women, the men's weight room was... An I'm Olympic gonna say, gym. Which I'm I've seen say, examples of those, like very well organized, free yep. weights, Nautilus everywhere. Good Everything. Looking, yeah. And I'm going to say this room... Was probably the size. It was a regulation basketball court, easily. Yeah, at least, at least, the women's had six or seven yoga mats and a some barbells. Bottle of sanitizer and some barbells. Yeah, that was their weight room that they had set up. No, not not even kidding. Yeah. How? Like, I I understand that, you know, maybe the fellas might lift more than the ladies, but I'm sure. Oversight. Yeah, they called it an oversight. And they fixed it within a couple of days once they got called out and like LeBron James and Kyrie and all those guys got involved. Yo, somebody needs to tell those guys that are running that particular segment about the year 2021. So, no, it gets even better. So, of course, the men's courts. All say March Madness and everything else. Yes. The women's courts said nothing about March Madness. It just said women's basketball. How? So they're not run by the same people. Like you have different coordinators that run Mm -hmm. one versus the other. 
That should be irrelevant, though. They should both be held in the highest of regards. These are the best basketball teams in the nation that are coming to compete for a national championship on the highest level that exists yep. for them. So you should I, be treated like royalty once you make it to that far in a tournament like that. There's I, no I, excuse for that. No, That's garbage. There, there, there should be, mm-hmm. there should be firings. Agreed. You won't hear about it, of course, because it's the NCAA. Um, but they also had a big uh, day in court today too with the "we're going to make you pay your yeah. your people" lawsuits. Yeah, that they're not going to win. Yeah, when they. Uh, um, what they what they bring in last year the NCAA they made six billion dollars yeah. off of last the year. Off, off of, of the, the likeness the, and and the tournament NCAA and, sports tournaments merchandise and um, none of that goes to the student athletes their likeness nothing so they've been sued by both men and women for their likeness being used and not being paid for their likeness. They're going to lose. The NCAA is going to lose. Well, hasn't that been a thing for years and years about how they're amateur athletes and they're not allowed to take money? You're not like they've even gone after athletes that have gotten like, you know, the agent comes by or the recruiter comes by with a pair of sneakers for the kid and they take the sneakers away. And now this kid's ineligible because like he took a gift or something stupid like that. That should be ridiculous in this culture where the another organization is using the likeness of these players to make money off of selling their jerseys, their memorabilia, the, the school's logos and things like that. They're, people aren't buying a Michigan jersey because they're just like, oh, oh, maybe some people are, because they went to Michigan, they're an alma mater well, and all that's great. But if Michigan is your team and your guy or your girl is on that team, you're going to want their jersey. Here's how fucked up the NCAA is. You give an athletic scholarship to someone, they are not allowed to have a job, okay? They're not allowed to make extra money. They're not allowed any of that. Depending on your scholarship. Up to a certain amount. However. I I had to go through this. (laughs) However, if you have an academic scholarship or a music scholarship or anything like that, you can absolutely get paid. You can absolutely go play music somewhere and get paid for it and still get your education and still have your scholarship. But your athletic scholarship person cannot. It goes even further because, like, they asked me, they go, you like, because when I got on the UMaine team, they were like, we have to ask you for NCAA. You've never taken any money in an athletic competition for participating, correct? And I had to sit there and go, absolutely correct. Yes, knowing that I took so much bowling money. <laughs> Would yes. that have come back and bit you in the ass, even yes. though you were on a football team? But yes. like yes. Andrew and Bowling was a separate really. I would have yes. been considered a professional athlete at something competing in an amateur sport. Like that would have been a whole like wind stripped, all that crap. So yep. that means you mean to say that that would have hurt how... you, but let's say that these kids, some of them that go to like you were saying, Tim, right, on like a music scholarship. Let's say somebody's really good at like being a drummer or something. Whatever, yep. I'm a drummer, so let's go with that. So let's say a guy's a really good drummer. He was in a band all from high school all the way through. Well, you get gigs, don't you? You get yep. to go play at some of these places, and a lot of times they don't pay you a lot of money. But I remember even I was in a band in high school, and we used to play this little club in Somerville called Johnny D's. It was like a little like loungy type of like more upscale place. But we used to go in there and play a lot of cover songs and stuff. And we used to get like dinner and 50 bucks a night that we would go in there and play. Those kids can do that. But if I'm an athlete and I go and do anything athletically related that I get paid for, an autograph signing or anything like that, I am completely ineligible. that not allowed. Have, not allowed. You Crash. have forfeited your eligibility. Yep. You're not even allowed to sign an agent before you go into the draft. You have to like the minute you get an agent, you are automatically disqualified are automatically for NCAA. Disqualified. Yep. yep. Then why would you even go to college for athletics instead because of just being bingo, good enough? Bingo. Instead because of being, if you're good enough to do that, then chances are, if you kept playing in your semi-pro leagues or in your city leagues for years and you continue to dominate, when you were finally good enough, you could go to the open pro tryouts and probably make a team that way. So here's if you went with film yep. and. So here's why, um, for basketball, 
there was never anything other than going overseas that you could do until you were 18 years old, okay? You cannot get drafted. You have to be one year out of high school. You cannot be drafted out of high school. I, I think they've changed that rule. I yeah. think they've gone back now, I think. Um, and I think it starts with this coming draft. I, they, I could they be wrong. Don't, you have to go to the G League. Oh, you have to if, go to the G League. If you don't go to college, you something. have to go to the G League, yes. So that's why the Ball family went overseas. That's why LaMelo went and played in Australia and Turkey and things like that for two years. He didn't want to go to college, so that's why he did that. Um, your baseball players don't have that option, so they go to college. They either go to college, college or you, they either go to college or they go straight to the pros. But if they, they go, go minors, straight to the pros, yeah. you're going in the minor leagues and you're starting off in, in in single level A, and then you're going to high A, and then you go to you know, then you then you're going to uh, double A, and then finally you're going to triple A, and then then you get called up to the majors. Well, you get a lot of players that go to college and they'll play three or four years at a large school like a Vanderbilt, and you know, get redrafted. Boston College, whatever, and get redrafted. Um, Football. Hockey, hockey's got to figure it out. They hockey, have it figured uh, out. Hockey is the most of your players in hockey. If they don't go to college, they go play juniors in Canada, or they're already drafted in college. I knew a bunch of guys that yeah. you made that were already pro players. Well, here's the thing: is that's the, for whatever reason, hockey you can get drafted and then still play hockey at you the draft college. rights. Yeah. And then once the season's done, like uh, Swayman this year for for UMaine, last year, sign he plays he gets drafted by the Bruins, plays the year at UMaine. The minute UMaine season ends, he signs his professional contract, and now is uh, he's one of the backups now, like him and uh, him and Vladar, uh, Vladar, Vladar, whatever his name is. Uh, All of those, I think, yeah, close enough. Yeah. <laughs> They were the backup Vader? Of later. V L A D. Vader. Vader time. It's Vader time. Time. Um, so yeah, it's it's just the NCAA is just it's totally messed up, and that could go down a whole nother rabbit hole. Uh, but we are way over time. But I did want to touch on uh, real quick. Uh, Major League Baseball uh, opening day is to uh, well, we're taping this on Wednesday. Opening day is tomorrow, Thursday. Um. Look, I'm a diehard Red Sox fan. Have been all my life. Yep. Uh, Sox. I'll uh, still watch them. I don't care what they I'm say. Gonna They're going to be bad. They're going to be watch, good. I will watch the majority of the games um, because I always do. Um, so I, fans. Fans are coming back. We're going to have fans in the stadium, I believe. Yep. 20% capacity. Close yep. enough. That's still 8,000 people for Fenway Park. Yep. Then we're sitting around 40,000 these days. That's still 8,000 people. Don't tell me that 8,000 people aren't going to try to be louder than 40. Of course they are. That, that's 8,000 people screaming Yankees suck at the top of their yep. top I of their cannot lungs. wait to hear it because, like the Montreal Canadiens, the Yankees do Yankees suck. suck. And the Lakers suck. Yes, they do too. But and, not as much as the Yankees. But the not Habs. as much as the Yankees and have. But, but not LeBron because he owns the Red Sox. Or he part owns the Red Sox now. I, no, I, I just I can't like LeBron even though he's part owner not of the Red like Sox. Like LeBron, I could care I less. I, I, I really couldn't care less. Uh, but yeah, so you know, Major League Baseball's coming. You know, Major League Baseball's coming back. Um, hockey and, and basketball is still going on. Celtics are they suck. They lost again today. They're just they need a big shakeup. They they're going to have to this off season. Um, I don't think Brad Stevens will be your coach after this year. Uh, I, I think, think Jalen Brown is gone. I think they keep Tatum. I think they keep Brown and trade Tatum. I think. I hope they don't. I like them both. Um, Tatum needs to – he's playing hero ball a lot lately. Uh, I saw it tonight. I saw some of the game tonight where they were playing Dallas. I watched I, – I basically flipped the channel because I forgot they were on. And – Tatum brings the ball up, dribbled it for 22 seconds, tried to drive on Doncic three times, took it back out, and ended up taking a fallaway shot as time was. And I just said, you know what? That's shitty basketball. Like, it's that's not basketball. 
you watch Doncic, Doncic's getting the whole team involved. Tatum is about Tatum, and that's why I think they'll trade him before they trade Brown. Could be. And I hope they trade Smart. I said it. I'll say it. I'm on record. I, For what he gives you on the defensive side, he kills you on the offensive side. So, see ya. That's what I say. Mm-hmm. But anyway, we're way over. Way over. I got to go to bed. That's all right. It's getting late. It's it a good is. show tonight, boys. So, people. Happy Friday, everybody. Yes. People. Happy weekend. Don't forget Sunday nights on Twitch. You got these two fine gentlemen, along with John Starner, Rio, and Walsh. Dudes and Belts Chat. Dudes and Belts Chatcast. Dudes and Belts the- Wrestling Chatcast, chat-cast. right there. We got. Yep. We are on a shirt. That is us. Like it's a very I, big shirt. Look, even I have a shirt. That's right, and you can pick up your Timmy Vader merchandise on the show as well. I have a little Timmy Vader shirt. I don't have a Dudes and Belts shirt yet, but I absolutely have the <laughs> Timmy Vader shirt. Um, I might wear it to bowling this Friday night. I think the last time I wore it to bowling Friday night, it gave Fuller was laughing his ass off the entire that's night. Fun. That's funny. Oh, it's um, fantastic. So again, Sunday nights, watch these guys. I, you know, catch these guys on Twitch. Um, Tuesday mornings, catch us. We will be talking. Uh, all bowling, all the time on Tuesday morning. And uh, World's Talk. And World's Talk. Yep. Um, FYI, uh, I, I will have, uh, hopefully soon, we will have a member of the World's Committee that will be joining us to talk about the Worlds. The that would be great. That into it, things like that. First-hand um, information is always fantastic. It's better than hearsay. It's it, better than speculation every yep. single time. Um, as usual, folks, please send us your questions, your comments, your concerns about Brian, um, concerns about me. Don't worry about it. You can send it to me. Um, it will go somewhere, I guess. Uh, you can reach us ripping the rack podcast at gmail.com. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter at ripping the rack podcast. You can soon find us on Instagram. I know I said that last week. I just haven't taken the time to set it up. You cannot find us on OnlyFans. You cannot find us on any of the uh, adult sites that I know of. We are um, not on any hentai websites. We are despite not. Despite how much cartoon we have talked about, they took that stuff down. They said they we did. violated community standards. Can you believe but, we violated cu- community standards on a hentai website? I, can't. I thought that was totally bullshit. Yeah, can't can't believe but it. They can yeah. hear us on Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, uh, Google Podcasts, Anchor Breaker. And everywhere else that you listen to your podcasts and hear our wonderful voices. Yes. Guys, have a great week. Uh, We will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye.